guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is Zero. And you guys, I, man, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but look at what we got in front of us. Demon Souls. Ladies and gentlemen, got some PS3 footage here. I can't believe that I'm even starting this right now. I've been wanting to play this for a long time. I've had some problems getting the HD60 and the PlayStation to want to work together, but through a little bit of... of work we got it and uh here we go so basically what's going to happen is i'm going to go ahead i don't want to start that again um basically what's going to happen is every weekend i'm going to kind of go back i'm going to start new playlists of older games and that are going to kind of run slowly on the channel so we're going to go ahead and uh, start a new game of demon souls but i just want you guys to know it's it's not like it's going to uh they go really fast. There's a lot of new games coming out in October, and so this is going to be a playthrough that just kind of continues on the channel as everything else goes as well. And uh, you know that I always do it a little bit different, so we're going to mix it up and go with the with the mage, the magician. There we go. So I'm pretty excited to do that. Uh, yeah, cancel. I, we can. Um, what should we name them? I guess we just got to name them Zero, right? This old, old PlayStation 3, man, why can't they just have the, they, you think they would have changed the typing on this now, now that the, uh, the 4 is out, that's kind of weird. Alright, start. Alright, so we're good. So anyway, like I was going to say, we're going to start, we're going to play a mage playthrough of Demon Souls, I'm really excited. We've done a lot of Souls stuff on this channel, Dark Souls 2. I played Dark Souls 3 before it came out in the States and had that beat, and we played Bloodborne. I've, I love Souls games. I'd like to actually do a Dark Souls probably after this, but I thought, let's go back to the beginning. Let's go back to where it all started and run through some Demon Souls, especially because I can't even remember how long it's been since I've, I've played this game. Like, I don't remember anything about it. This is going to be crazy. I cannot wait. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to go ahead and get into it. If you guys want to see this on stream, let me know. And uh, there's, it's been a long time, so if I miss things and stuff, please leave it in the comments. Let me know um, if I missed something or if I screwed something up. I, can, I definitely have never played through this as a magician, so this will be a very interesting. Um, I think this first episode is just a tutorial level, so it'll be just getting my bearings back and making sure that I don't make a complete and utter fool of myself. King Aland the Twelfth by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had aroused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind 
faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? All right, would you like to play the journey to the Nexus? Um, yes, I think we do. That's the tutorial. That is the tutorial for you. So this isn't, uh, I mean, this game's been out for a long time. I think everybody that is into Souls, or they're going to be the people watching that. And we all know that it's not Dark Souls, not the prequel to Dark Souls or anything. It's its own story, but it's so close. It's like so, I, I really enjoy it. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Okay, guys. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go in the tutorial. The mage it is. All right, so what do I got here? Oh man, it's been so long. Inventory's different, everything like that. I, I, I hopefully will get used to this quick. So let's, let's see what we got. So we got some fresh spice for magic power. I do believe that magic works similar to Dark Souls 2 um, in this. So that's why I went mage. I think that I might have a an okay time playing mage, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. It could it could go rotten on me. Uh, the Crescent Moongrass recovers a small amount of HP. Uh, stone that ignites a light soul. And then any of these, I don't believe... Reorganize, yeah. I, I don't know if there's item descriptions like there were before. It's been, like I said, it's been so long. So, we'll have to look. I got the wizard's clothes, and that is about it. Alright, so the wooden catalyst... So I'm going to need to make sure that I get some spice if I'm going to be playing this this wizard. All right, and we are in none of this area. We are in the tutorial area. So let's just go ahead and let's back out. I don't want to get don't want to get handed to. We got a shield. All right, we should be good to go. Let's run through, see what we got. Read message. Standard attack is our one. Rightfully so. Lock on. Oh man, I I can't believe I'm getting into this. I'm just gonna R2 him, how about that? Alright. Alright, direction and sprints. Dude. It feels so. Man, this game holds up so well because of the mechanics in these. Oh man, what do we got here? Guard. L1 is guard. What do they want me to guard against this guy? Come on. Come on, there we go. Yeah, whatever. I'm a mage, right? I'm a mage. Let's see what we can... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Get some mage work in here. Alright, so I'm gonna take it slow, though, because it's been a long time since I played this. I don't want to get to... Yep, see? Next thing you know, you get attacked. So I think if I walk through, I got my shield on, we play it nice and smooth, we'll be good. We'll be good. What do we got? It's Crescent Moongrass some more. Alright, haven't needed any yet. Use items square. I know that there's a difference too about the, uh, the transparency in this. Like, it doesn't work the same as in other games, so I'm going to have to get used to that. More Crescent Moongrass. Alright, we got a ton of healing items. Alright, I don't see... Oh, there's some guys over there. Alright, let's just drop down. Whip out. Flip this out. Let's see what we got. It's the end of you, man. That is the end of you. Dude. I'm gonna like it. I think I'm gonna enjoy 
this magician playthrough. Alright, so that didn't take a lot of my... I actually have a fairly decent amount of stamina right now, and I don't know if this is the tutorial health and stamina they're giving me, but that's a ton. A ton of stamina and health. Alright. Go. I should probably not waste all of this mana right now. Uh... Touch the arc stone, warp to new area. Let's wait a second. Is there anything else around here? Probably not. Probably not. Alright. No big deal. No big deal. Warp to new area. Now, I believe you're supposed to... I think you fight a boss in this and you're supposed to die to go to the Nexus. We'll try to kill him. Um, but I think you, you're supposed to... And it's a boss that's on that's later on in the game, and I don't. I kind of have to get used to this again. All right, what do we got? Strong attack, R two. Get out of here. How about that for a strong attack, huh? Let me go ahead and pop one of these. I don't know how much that mana that gives me. I should have probably paid attention. I might be able to refill the entire bar with with that. Alright, alright. Oh, here we go. Hmm. There you go. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you don't want to mess with me. You don't want to mess with me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, man. The blue-eyed knight. There we go, there we go. Just give me that soul. Give me the soul. These guys, oh yeah, they don't, they don't even know my power, man. I kind of feel bad for them. Oh, is he just supposed to... I'm supposed to try to break guard? Is that what I'm doing with him? Alright. How about this? Huh? How about that for breaking guard? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to practice my parry. There we go! Oh! Well, there you go. How about that for a uh, parry? Jeez. That felt good. Alright. Where is... I, like, I feel like this is a trap. Alright. Half moon grass. I believe that's just more healing. Nothing too crazy. Soul. Got some more grass. Anybody else up here? Alright, so I don't think that you can look like we got the unknown source, so it adds to a user's soul stock when used. But that's it. Like you can't actually look at a description, right? Yeah, use item, re reorganize. Okay. So I obviously won't use that yet until we get to the Nexus. Here. Oh, here we go. Alright. So I get like four solid hits. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, I get five hits. This feels way too much stamina. I wonder if it's just because it's the tutorial and they're going to start me out. I gotta get... Give me that. Give me what you got first. 
<laughs> 16 crescent. Jeez, that's a lot. How about you just how about you just take a little flame stick? There we go. I guess I know there's something back here. Some half moon, alright. Now what's the difference between Recover some of the user's HP, recover a small amount of the user's HP. Okay, so the Crescent Moon is just a much lighter version. No big deal, no big deal. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Alright, so it'd be kind of interesting to see how this works. Uh, let's do it, man. I don't know... If I have any chance of beating this guy. No! No! I was gonna... I was like, I was doing pretty good! I totally thought I could have taken him out. It's such a small area, but look at how much damage that was doing. Oh, well, that sucks. That sucks. I think you're supposed to lose to him, though. Um, if you beat him, though, it obviously would... I would hopefully give you some more souls to take with you to the starting area. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Stravia, there he is, the young prince. Drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect them. You have died, and the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. Okay, alright, that's... Kind of rough. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. Nexo binding. One. All right. User loses souls to return to the Nexus. All right. So we have that unknown soldier soul as well. Here we are, guys. Man, this is this is. Let's just explore the Nexus slightly. Um, for the rest of this. Oh, here we go. Is this who we have here? Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now, go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed voluntary All right. I love stopping into these places and getting lore, man. Frontstop is so you good at that. for demon souls? Uh, it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. Just another man to come and We're not make it out of here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> You came for demons. Where? Okay. That's all he's got. What do we got I'm here? I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. 
I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Okay, so he can take items. And that's it. He's just a stockpile. Best of luck to you. All right. It's like I'm trying to remember all these guys. Who do we got here? You're new here? Blacksmith. Do you hear for my services? The name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? Not bad, not bad. All right, so what does he have? Okay, he actually has some fresh spice. 350 for one. That's a lot. Oh, man, that's a lot. Uh, battle axe, nice shield. That's a pretty decent shield from what I got. All right, so I don't have a ton of souls, though. Nothing really I can mess around with. We'll find that. No interest, eh? Yeah, not right now. Sorry. I you're not gonna... Sorry, my man. Um, let's just run around. I just want to make sure that there's... Oh, yeah, is this the sorcerer? Oh, my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. Oh, Mbasa. Okay. Well, there's one more up here, wasn't there? No. Power to push the next enemy. Alright, so maybe not. I might not get any more spells or anything right off the bat. No, someday. Alright, guys, so I guess that's gonna be it for this first episode. We did the tutorial, and then next we will move on to the next area. I don't really want to start the next area in this episode because. Our Stone of the Small King. Because as soon as we go there, the Borrow King, Archstone of the Tower Queen, man, jeez, we can go just everywhere. This is so sweet. The Shadow Men, and the Chieftain. All right, so when we come back, we will move into the first Archstone and uh, carry on with this adventure. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I know I'm going to be having a great time coming back through and playing this. It's been so long. I'm ready to get my ass kicked. I'm ready to get it handed to me. So I will see you on the next episode. All right, guys, this is Zero, and I'm out. <laughs>